Question five. Question five solution. Well, this is just two lots of the claw. The expanding is getting rid of the brackets. Two times y, two times six, three times y, three times three, giving us this. And then the expanding bit is just gathering up your y's. Well, we've got two of them here and three of them here. So that's five y and 12, a normal 12 here, a normal nine here. 12 and nine is 21. Question six. Remember what factorizing means. This means putting the brackets back in. So for start off by trying to get the number at the front. What's the biggest number that goes into both five and 10? Well, that's five. So you pop your five there and open up your bracket. Five times what gives us five X? Well, that's X because five times X is five X. Five times what gives us minus 10? Well, that's minus two, because five times minus two is minus 10. Question seven. Question seven solution. Simplifying. So all we're doing here is gathering all the x's together and gathering all the y's. Five x add two x is seven x. Now be careful with the y's. That's a minus y, a taking away of one y. So three y take away y is two y. Question eight. Question eight solution. Now factors, they're the whole numbers which go into 20. So they're smaller than 20. Four or five are factors of 20, because both of them times by another number, another whole number, give you 20. Now multiples are bigger. They're basically the times tables. The multiples of 10 are the 10 times table, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. That's the end of part two.